Hey, uh, here we are on the roof, looking at a rooftop unit. We called up, said the thermostat wasn't working while well, they installed new Ecobee thermostats. And, well, this was a while back, it was still working at that point, but now the thing goes to start up, the breaker pops before I can even get on the roof. So, I gotta disconnect all, all my low voltage and uh, jump this thing out and see what it does. Um, do all the maintenance on these so filters are halfway decent. I did shut the power off so let me get into this thing and check the compressor and the blower motor and all that good stuff. And uh, this is a three phase system so got a three phase compressor so now if I go between this terminal and this terminal have continuity, they should all be the same. So I got 0.8 there. And 1.1 there, 1.5 bouncing. And I have 0.7 there. But now those aren't too terribly out of line. But if I take my one lead and go to ground, my compressor's grounded out on all terminals. So, we got a bad compressor. This unit's from, let's see, let's see, let's see. This unit's from, I think, right around 1998. Ah, uh, 97. 1097. So, yeah, this seems, uh, they're going to be replacing the unit on this one. It's just due to the age. I mean, it's our 22 system. So, but we've done the maintenance on, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rooftops. He does the maintenance on them every year. We keep them up and running. But... Yeah, that's what we need. We need either a compressor or a new unit, which I'm going to recommend a new unit on this one. Just due to the age, you know, it's useless putting, you know, a few thousand bucks into a 97 unit rooftop. It's just useless. So, alright guys, that was just a quick diagnostic of a three three phase compressor. Uh, as you've seen, I had, uh, you know, with the three phase, you're supposed to have, you know, on each terminal, it's supposed to be within, a, you know, pretty much within, you know, a point or two of each other. But, I mean, obviously, if you go to a terminal to ground, it's just like diagnosing any other compressor. You know, one terminal to ground, if you got ground, it's done. So, that's it for this one. I will see you on the next one. Like and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.